The word meditate means to develop. We're trying to develop good qualities in the mind. We start out with a very simple exercise. You focus on the breath coming in going out. And just trying to stay with the breath, that's what develops mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind. This is a very important ability for the mind. It's something very basic, but something that tends to get weak. We can learn things and then forget them in a second, or if we forget to apply them to what we're doing right now. And it's as if we didn't have that knowledge at all. We don't get any benefit from it. So when you learn something good, either from someone else or from your own actions, you want to remember it. Keep it at hand. The other quality we develop is alertness. Stay on top of what the mind is doing. Watch what it's doing. Watch the results that it's getting right now. And then we develop ardency, which means you want to do this well. If you notice the mind has slipped off, you can bring it right back. If you're with the breath, you try to get very, very sensitive to it. These three qualities are important for any job you want to do in the world, any work you have to do in the world, at school or at, in the office. You have to remember what you should be doing. You have to keep watch on what you are doing. And you benefit, and everybody else benefits, when you try to do it well. The real wisdom in there is in that effort to do it well. We like to think of wisdom as just a, an attitude that sits back and looks at the world from a larger perspective, and that's part of it, but also it means realizing that what you are doing is important for the sake of your happiness, the happiness of the people around you. Because if you don't do it well, then it's going to lead to suffering. And so when you make up your mind, you've got this ability to shape your life, you've got this ability to shape the circumstances around you and inside you, well, try to shape it well. Do a good job of it, because we don't have the opportunity to shape these things very long. Even if someone lives to be a hundred years, it's pretty short. At the very end of the time, you say, where did all the time go? And so you have, the, you have the health, you have the youth, you have the life right now that enables you to do a really good job. So make the most of it, because these things too are going to leave. And it was the Buddha's realization that when he was young and healthy and alive, he had a tendency to look down on people who were sick or old or dead. And he said, this is, this is really strange, this is really stupid, because I'm going to be that way in my day, myself someday. Maybe there's something better than this. Maybe there's something that doesn't grow ill, doesn't age, doesn't die. He decided that's what would make life worthwhile, was to be to look for that happiness inside. That's why he went out into the forest, into the wilderness. And that's how he found the Dharma that it's, he's brought to teach us. Now, we may not decide we're going to go all the way in this lifetime. Or not even try, but we should at least try to do things as well as we can. Because we've got this opportunity, we have this human birth, so you want to make the most of it. Because the goodness you do, that sticks with you. The bad things you do stick with you as well, so you want to do as many good things as you can. And it starts by having a good foundation right here in the mind. So develop these qualities, mindfulness, alertness, ardency. And even though they're very basic, often it's the basic things that, are, that will take you, f take you far. <laughs>